get things rolling. Um, as I was mentioning to Savvy earlier, the two teams that we've got playing right now, Game of Thrones was actually Div 1 last season, and they have now dropped down to Div 2. And Noobs! <laughs> Jesus. I was not expecting that one. And I believe, I'm just going to take a quick peek, but they should be 1-0, and is what I said. Yeah, they're 1-0 this month. Sounds good to me. The Unlimited Breadsticks have were Div 2 last season, and they finished 35th in Div 2. And with a six and four, and right now they were three and zero in Div Two, so they are doing very well for the start of the season already. Hopefully, they can keep that streak alive, just like they do in their underwear. Yeah. So oh. Game of Thrones has banned Sylvanas. I'm like, unless I'm not up on patch notes, I'm very surprised to see the Sylvanas. Like, it helps with the spiders on this one, but it's not as big as the Immortals. Sylvanas Zool, huh? Eh? Yeah. I don't know if I love the Zool ban. I think I would have preferred a Zagara. She did get nerfed a little bit in the last patch, but I still feel she's better than Zul, especially on this map with the ability to gain vision around the turn-ins. And, uh, yeah, and with not getting first pick, I'm torn. Speaking of nerfed, have you seen the new nerf guns? They shoot, like, little foam balls. It's fucking awesome. Oh, that sounds like fun. But, uh, Zagara first pickup, which is kind of what you were expecting, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if we were going to get the first pickup from it, but it's she's so strong right now as a specialist that why wouldn't you pick her up mm -hmm. like unless there's some really key game plan that you want to pick somebody else up she's so well-rounded on this map that i would go with her i mean the new guns literally come with safety glasses too oh shit which is awesome yeah <laughs> uh speaking of safety glasses you may need some against kerrigan because mm -hmm. she will poke your fucking eye out <laughs> yeah she's uh i like her lots of stun potential good jump if you're trying to dive the back line you also like the minimal clothing she's wearing but you know whatever <laughs> no, no no i just i just like my zerg what can i say yeah you like insectoid vagina human crossovers and a regar pickup interesting i like i like the synergy with kerrigan the fact that you can drop the shield after she stuns somebody or the the totem to slow them down to keep them in range longer is great mm -hmm. having the shield to drop on her too as she's diving in a little bit of extra damage and the heals from a distance like good synergy there i like it uh who do you pick up if your game of throws well there's not like unless you're trying to build a comp around zagara they can go any way they want i johanna's great on this map just for the control around the zone she's got the blind she's got the condemns it's uh it's a nice good delaying tactic and she's a very strong tank in the meta right now just the ability to stay in there and stay alive. Well, she's able to pick the gems up huge, right? Yeah. Just pulls them in, smashes them, spits them out. Mm -hmm. Um, hmm. Leaming, Leaming, I mean, you know. Another nice figure. one on this map. Lots of places to hide behind walls, poke through, good at delaying with her distance on the orbs and the magic missiles. You know, a lot of this, if you can control those turn-ins with having the vision and then being able to poke with those two you can stop the team from doing a ton of damage. Yeah, most definitely. Um, Band-wise, who, you... who would you pull out here, Jesse? I mean, you got to go against a healer you don't really want. Um, I don't know. I guess Oriel, she seems to be top. Yeah, she can do a ton. Right and they've got with, like, if Oriel can, you know, throw on Zagara for most of the time and then drop it on Li Ming when she's about to combo... There can be so much hope that comes in there that can give you basically, you know, you heal right before that burst goes off and you've got another heal instantaneously. Yeah. Um, I mean, you could ban a tank. Yeah, ETC. Okay. I don't know. I'm I getting... Mean, I'm, I think it was a smart call from them. Right now, they don't have anything to stun her out besides the Blessed Shield and the Maw. But Maw isn't really a great on the Mosh. By the time it procs, you've already gotten a lot of value out of the Mosh pit. Yeah, exactly. So, mm -hmm. though you it's... could, I guess Li Ming, if you wave a force, I believe it. Does it stop? I don't know if it stops. Well, the let us dead. know in the comments below. Yeah. Wait yeah. for it. We'll get yelled at. Just, I mean, like oh, we will. It'll happen. Um, of course. I mean, you need a healer there. Breadsticks. Not healer. I mean, tank. And I mean, you need some more damage for sure. I still like. I feel like double tank will help them, especially with the Rhaegar in the front line. Yeah. Starting to drop lots of shields, give Kerrigan that backup to allow her to go to town. Do you pick up a specialist to combat Zagara? 
I mean, who else is there really? That's... The only one that I would want to pick up with this combination, I think, is Nazebo. Or yeah. maybe a hammer, but I don't really like hammer on this map. Um, I feel like she needs a little bit more to give her get her damage up there to be great. But they want some they'll want something ranged in behind this. Right? They've already got three frontliners. You don't want to just run a full frontline comp. Do it. I dare you ultimate breadstick frontline the frontline these bitches. Ah eh, well. I start. tried. And that's it. he's a good all around pickup. You know, it's a small does, map, so the he does a lot of damage too, right? Yeah. And the mount is nice to jump around, consistent damage. He's good all around. But like I said, smaller map, so the mount... It's not like Heart Cursed, where the mount gives you super useful bits. Yeah. So who do you pick up here? I mean, you need Frontline, I feel. I mean, someone else to go with Sigara, and you need Heal. I would almost... Hmm, I'm debating if I'd like Thrall in this combination. Thrall's pretty good. He would give you that um, frontline damage, and he's fairly sustainable. So it's not mm -hmm. like you're throwing in a somebody like a Kerrigan, which of course wouldn't happen, but is a lot squishier yeah. on the frontline. And healer wise, maybe a Brightwing. Yeah, you can push people around, get them out of the way. Yeah, and also just the ability to now that they've got Falstead that can soak and jump into the team fight. It's the same way with Bright Brightwing. You can leave her in a lane, getting as much soak as possible, and then jump to wherever you're needed. Which is, it, it helps. It helps a lot. Here's a fun question for you. Uh -huh. Rule related. What happens if their time runs out? I think it just auto walks, but I'm not sure. Oh, there's the bright yeah, one we're talking one. about. It's almost like we kind of know what's going on. Kind of. Kind of. And almost. Well, but it's... It, not really. It's so much of that, you know, there's that general meta that's out there. But so many teams will just pull off those very interesting things. Like our, well, our previous games with the $5 fried rice, you know, three assassins. You don't see that very much. Did it work out? Did it not? You'll have to go watch it on the channel, guys. Wow, that is a plug and a half. <laughs> I'm horrible. What can I say? You can buy, you can't buy, uh, no, lost it. So, Crafton <laughs> saying a Tychus pack. I don't see it being super beneficial. No, I was thinking of Diablo. I mean, he's frontline and he can do some damage. He's mm -hmm. got some stuns too. Um, yeah, I like it. I I feel the double tank is kind of the way the meta's going, especially just even what I've played lately. It just gives you so much more sustain. I'm okay with that. Keeps me in a job. Yeah. Um, yeah, who do you pick up as your final? Well, I guess... Uh, I mean, I guess... Uh, maybe a more sustainable tank or some range. Mm -hmm. I think I all like the Arthas with the Tyrael, like we saw last game, worked out really well. Mm -hmm. I would be completely happy with that. I don't know if I would love a Sonia with this. I feel like it's getting too bruisery up front with the Kerrigan Sonia and with the double tank. Like, though the leap to get in behind is not bad, it's focus out Zagara. Once she gets on there, she just hurts. I mean, maybe, I mean, you know, hear me out. I have a hard on for Muradin. Okay, well. <laughs> Fuck. There you go. It's. I didn't start the competition. Whoops. No, you can do that now. Yeah, I guess I will. So, with that draft done, guys, the you can now bet on who you want to win. Um, you can bet your BJs that you earned just for watching the channel and pick your favorite team. The winners will split the pot. As to yes. what it is. That is what he said. And you've got 15 minutes, so you should be good. I mean, you could even kind of wait until the game's like half over, and then you could bet. But you, you don't want to miss it, though. That would be embarrassing. Yeah, so you got to be like, you got to be on it. Ooh, a double Diablo. Dirty. Okay, we've got a Diablo, a Brightwing, a Li Ming. And where's our JoJo going? On Overkill or on Shvik? Well, probably Overkill. But... What do you mean JoJo? What are you talking about? Johanna. JoJo. Oh. Gerudo, get more BJs. Come on, man. Bright time. Fight time, dumbass. Whatever. Bright would make more sense because it's bright wing. <laughs> Gerudo, you have no fucking BJs. Uh, well, he has 761. Fun. Yeah, but I thought he was hung around longer. I like the, the 10,000. So which which draft do you like, Jesse? Uh, well, my name's Savvy, you piece of shit. Um, I'll call you whatever the fuck I want. 
What do I like? I like the uh, I like the Diablo Johanna. Yeah. See, yeah. and I kind of like the Sony Kerrigan. I think it's a little deep, but I like it. Like, I think it's going to work out for them. Ben likes it when the ladies go deep on him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, it'll be interesting. It'll be hit or miss. I've got nothing on the line here, so if I choose the wrong one, sue me. Oh, yeah. Dude. Oh, I got to ready up. That's embarrassing. Dumbass. Well, they weren't waiting for me. That you know of. I'm Actually, over they were. Because I was the last one there. Yeah. And I guess nobody wants to see... I'm going to pull our Twitch alerts off and nobody wants to see my face in game now. Yeah, I agree there. Except you're still up there. That's cool. No, I'm not. I just came down. Well, now Stream you're... Stream delay. Stream delay. Go, go, go. Mario 22. Good luck. Have fun all. So, be sure to get your bets in, britches. Yeah, why isn't this going? I got a Falcons game to catch. Wow. Screw the Falcons. Well, you heard it here first. <laughs> Ben's in <laughs> oh, it's in, it's in the fourth. 10 out of 10. Oh. Screw the Falcons. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's go. Zip, 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 zoo. We'll just pad the pot a little bit there. What? Oh, I just added some some pot stuff in there, so there's a decent number of BJ's in there. Yeah, you're also very quiet, so you know. Whatever. I'm, I'm fucking quiet now. Yeah. Seriously? Well, now you're better. Okay. Sorry, I must have just looked away from my mic for a little bit. Your mic or your mic? My mic. Hmm, there you go. A thousand. Crap. Pussy. 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 Uh, I'm sorry to uh, the teams that were casting. There's no need that you needed to be listening to me call one of our members a, or one of our audience a pussy. <laughs> but that's what you get when you sign up for BJ and Co. <laughs> we have a little bit of fun. So Tomb of the Spider Queen... Oh, I guess we should wait till we're in. Yeah. <laughs> Such a scrub here. Oh, and I gotta be on my game. I gotta follow what's going on now. Yeah, you gotta do the camera work. God cause... damn it. Fuck you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to a another Chair League cast. We've got a Div 2 match today between Game of Throws with Schwick on Diablo, Apple Leader on Zagara, Overkill 16 on Johanna, Great Kebab on Li Ming and Ralph Stew on Brightwing. And for the ultimate breadsticks on the red team, we have Kerrigan with Keith Stone. We have Sonya with Kid. We have Tyriel with Mario 22, who really wants to get going. He's got a fucking Falcons game to watch. You know, priorities, <laughs> whatever. Uh, we have a Falstead with Lunchbox, and we have Rhaegar with Fidget. <laughs> So okay. we've got Zagara going straight bottom, and then the rest of the team's heading straight to the middle. I mean, that's a. I mean, Zag should push mm -hmm. elsewhere. Well, right? Zag, her main focus is going to be to get vision, right? So she's getting her stuff down in the lane, so she's ready to go when the people rotate down. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more up by the actual turn in. Ooh, Ben's mad at the Zaggle post play. Well, but it just gives her so much more to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. But I like how the uh, breadsticks move down to try to delay her there and get yeah. that creep cleaned up. So Apple Eater's been the first one called out on the terrible positioning of the Lipters. Little nobule things. I'm just kidding. Creep tumors. I think they were very well placed, and I hope that you do well. Oh, uh, okay. Li Ming, Ming is blown the fuck up. Wow, that she could have been done dead a lot quicker. I feel like the folks a little shaky there. Could have been tightened up a little bit well, with the ultimate ride sticks, but you know. What I love there though is they were focusing on getting behind her to body block her in. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like you could have just killed her quicker, mm. and then you wouldn't have had to worry about it. Uh, we have Johanna taking some hits to the face, just like the abusive relationship she's in. And Diablo's down. Oi. Great. Wow, who said the Diablo-Johanna combo was good? What a fucking <laughs> idiot. 
That was me. Breadsticks is doing very good at picking their target and just capitalizing on it. Yeah, we have uh, Sonya doing a spin to win on Zagara. I mean, pretty much whatever. Didn't do much. Zagara saw them coming with the excellent placement of the creep tumors. Yeah, nicely able to get out of there. Um, I mean, we got some rotation up top from Game of Throws, mm -hmm. but I mean, Ultimate Bread Six, they're rotating as a team. They've got well at least three quarters of a level lead here. Yeah. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And which... very, very nice rotations too from the breadsticks. Just... Oh, we almost lost the Diablo there. That could have been bad. Yeah. But um, yeah, breadsticks seem to be working a, a team. Most. And definitely. they're the ones who were in Div Two last year, right? Ultimate, bre yes. Breadsticks were Div Two. Game of Thrones was in Div One last year and is now in Div Two or last season. Huh. That's a kick to the groin of your pride. Um, but yeah, so Ultimate Breadsticks has about a half, three quarter level lead there. They hit the fours first quite handily, rotating up, grabbing the Diablo. Ooh, Johanna pulling pretty much everybody in. And they're just, you know, hitting tanks in the face, padding their numbers. Um, oddly, Sonya seems to be kicking the shit out of Zagara. Mm hmm. Well, Suzanne's got a lot of sustain with her Whirlwind, able to heal, and the, uh, just taking a look, basic attacks heal, which is just that little bit more sustain for her. Even, you know, you can see the Hunter Killer chunking her down a little bit, but she knows to just get out and not have to worry about it. Yeah, and I mean, her spin as well, it's able to hit those creep tumors, so. Yeah, very good job at clearing them out. Oh, Diablo's taking some punches to the face. He gets a little bit of Great stun. stun. Uh, dish to void. Yeah. Bread Six I... just has that follow-up with the Kerrigan Falstead. Even the Tyrael, he's a very good bruiser in the current meta. Are we coming down for Brightwing here? No, that was no gank there. Um, I mean... So Game of Thrones is trying to soak as much as they can. They're closing but, the gap a little, mm -hmm. but... They're still getting out-rotated by the ultimate breadsticks. Mario turning in 15. Let's go, Falcons! Whoop, whoop. <laughs> and I so they just need eight more to turn in. So oh, Lee Ming. Lee Ming, you're done. Done for. So done. And Diablo's going to have a bit Diablo's, of a rough time. Yeah, Johanna gets in there, saves his hide. Mm -hmm. I, I must say, Johanna's doing very good in her positioning to try to delay the enemies from getting the kills not that it's happening but you saw another diablo there she knows to stay in and survive help people survive yeah so it does look like the ultimate bread six get the first turn in of the web weavers yeah now interesting stat wise i've heard that it's all oh, beautiful kerrigan pull and stun Oh, will they get the Johanna? Nope, backs out. Ooh, definitely grabs Kerrigan. Yeah, and that's and gonna be that's... a dead Kerrigan. Great pull by the Diablo to get her in. And let's hope they can capitalize and defend very well off this one with the one-man advantage for 10-ish seconds. I mean, Diablo it would have been cooler if the gate was still up, but okay, I'm just getting greedy with my yeah. demands now. So, still good, very good play. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like Ultimate Bread Six is rotating down now. I thought they would have rotated up to push with that, but. Okay. Well, they're not really in a position to push too hard. They'll get this top wall, no problem with the fall set there. But they just don't want to get caught out and lose somebody. Right. Uh, you were saying statistic-wise something. Yeah, so the the late numbers are that the team that gets the web weavers wins about 60% of the time. The first web weaver win. Interesting. So we'll see if that holds true or not. We're making statistics, everybody. Yeah, I just happened um, to catch that on the latest cast I was watching myself. So. Game throws, game of throws could most definitely turn in. They have more than enough gems, um, but I mean they're a little on the back foot right now. Yeah, they're about a, a full level behind. They don't really want to get caught up because they've seen what can happen if that. And I think so it does happen. It's it's hard to know. They've got well a full level lead, uh, disadvantage. You either turn in right now and force them to fight before or defend before tens. But even if you got it right when they could have, I don't, they still would have hit tens as the web weavers are pushing and it's basically a useless web weaver wave. Ooh, Rhaegar is deep. Rhaegar definitely got pushed out. That was a great play by Diablo there, but he just walks around, no problem. They throw Sonya over. 
probably one of the worst person to throw over there. Yeah. She's just got that health pool and a bit of sustain. Oh, and we're going to lose a Diablo. Blown up again. No problemo. That is a lot of gems they just lost there. Yeah, so. and the Kerrigan stuns have just been on point to lock these yeah. guys down. And, and tens have been reached. Sanctification oh, and leap. Golly Li gee, is gone. Li Ming. We're going to probably lose a Johanna if I was going to guess incorrectly, which is what always yeah. fucking happens. Trying um, to follow up. Very close. Like, very low health pools on the side of um, Ultimate Breadsticks, but they were able to get away. I was hoping they might be able to secure a kill, but didn't happen for the side of Game of Thrones. Yeah. Um, they most definitely can turn in. You might as well. We're going to get Mario. Once again, let's go, Falcons. Ka -ka. Yeah. Uh, they're so fun. So two back-to-back -back turn ins They've already got tens, and it's still a level to go for oh, it's, Game of yeah. Thrones. It's a two-level lead now. Yeah. So this is look out, boys! The snowballs are coming. And at this point, I would expect a very hard push wherever they've wow. got the least number of people. Sag just got butt raped. Mm -hmm. Another big bunch of gems have gone down. Yeah. So we've got Game of Thrones rotating to try to stop mid. But ultimate breadsticks is just going bottom with two, mid with three, and they're gonna get probably two forts here. Yeah. Morale on Game of Thrones is definitely low, but luckily in that series, a lot of your favorite characters die, but other cool ones show up anyway, so it'll be all right. <laughs> oh, that's never, horrible. I know, I've never even seen the show, so. I oh, well. Um. Yeah, I mean, ultimate breadsticks, they're hungry for this one. Get it? Because they have unlimited breadsticks. Oh, hey, they should oh. never be hungry if they're unlimited breadsticks. Beautiful fly by Falstead there. The leap in. Yeah. Li Ming's blown up. Oh, nice maw. Three-man maw there. That was Falstead's good. We're... almost dead. Ooh, oh, and central healing. Oh, my God. Did that you see that? I'm about to make the central healing I've ever seen. Oh, my God. We're going to lose this egg, baby. Maybe, maybe not. That no, was egg dead. Yeah, Sonya's egg's got dead. her. You like that? That was me getting super excited about that an ancestral. Diablo's. Well, that was a beautiful ancestral. Just thinking back it was to really it. good. Came straight out of the law and knew exactly who he had to hit, and Falstead was able to get far enough away for it to proc in time. Well, I mean, he was pretty much in solitary confinement, and there he's like, "Hmm, who should I get?" Oh, Falstead, he's dying. Sorry, I'm trying to take away that your play was fucking awesome. <laughs> you I'm an asshole. No, that was great. And I honestly, I love that jumping for the gust, push the team towards you. And that zag just caught so many people in there that, unfortunately, you didn't get as much out of it as you could, but great job at staying alive, guys. Yep, you sure did what you needed to do there. Yep. Um, I mean, Game of Thrones, you got to get a turn in now. Yeah, and interestingly enough, I love how Breadsticks, did you notice where the Falstead flew to? They're to like, yeah, that's what they're going to try to do is turn in, so let's get the vision on it and hold it. But we got a boss going up here with Kid Mario 22. I mean, I don't know if they... Well, they might. Oh, yeah. they might. With so. those three, they're going to have no problems getting it. And that allows them to keep two people in lane, which will make it so the Game of Thrones doesn't expect the boss. Yeah, they're de they'll get a turn in. But, you know, a boss, that'll destroy top. So that's not going to end well. Yeah. Um, you got a, I mean, three-level lead disadvantage... Lead disadvantage? Disadvantage? I was going to say, Game of Thrones is going to have an issue with this. And yeah. I don't think it's... I would not say at any point they threw the game. <laughs> but it's it's going to be a really steep climb from here. Yeah. With boss I mean, going in. <clears throat> they've got their bottom lane pushed well. But they've got a boss pushing their top keep. So. And they're going to need more than Zagara to come and defend this. Yeah, and even just Johanna too. You gotta have pretty much everybody, I'm saying. Yeah. Though I like how they're trying to get that fort down bottom, at least get some experience out of it. Yeah, I mean, you gotta get one fort but down. But Kerrigan's going deep. Ooh, that nice was a good back. pushback by Diablo for sure. We have another Zagara Ma. They Only one this grab. time, dude. Oh, nobody. They didn't grab anyone. Another great oh. ancestral material. Yeah. Oh, Song is polymorphed quite oh. well. She gets out. Johanna died in deep to get the. I don't. No, no if that's she's not going to get it. There's three on. Definitely not worth Tyrael it. Tyrael is down, though. He's going to turn around and get lots of damage on Bong. Oh, oh, nice. Or no one. But uh, we may lose a zag here. And Brightwing. Oh, golly gee. That was... Mm -hmm. There's just so much health return on the side of um, the ultimate bread, unlimited breadsticks. 
that they, you know, uh, they were going getting low. Look out, Bing around. Bong! That was for Gerudo, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Gerudo. Love you, bro. But, you know, they did get the fort down. They've got a good push on bottom lane, which is nice. Yeah, but I feel that could be turned around quite quickly. Oh, yes. Again, three level lead. There's a talent advantage for the side of ultimate breadsticks, so they I mean, shouldn't and, be scared going into a fight anywhere. And they can most definitely get a turn in very quickly here. So And they should I mean, be able to get a turn in before anybody from the side of Game of Thrones can actually get there. I think a turn in is going to pretty much seal the deal. It's getting pretty darn close. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. It all depends. If they can focus on clearing the top lane, but they don't have enough for a turn in yet. They did not do it. They're focusing back on... Who didn't turn in? Somebody pinged the shit out of that. Because they're in trouble. False dead. Ping, 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 ping. Yeah. I mean, he's actually getting camp, so that's okay. I'll let this one slide. Um, and now he'll probably go turn in. Yeah. And it's... You know, I'm not a huge fan of how Game of Thrones is just playing very passively, but I think that's all they can really do. Throwing it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, literally, their best event time to be able to take a fight will be once they hit 16s. Because then they'll be on the talent advantage before the game of, or ultimate breadsticks hits 20. But we've got Kerrigan diving in. Blow up on Li Ming again. Diablo is going, going, going. Yeah, gone. It's gone. Right wing blinking out of there, but still very close. Kerrigan going in and Kerrigan's blown up. Pulling it back. Falstead with another jump and push. Zag is Man, gone. That really blows Game of Throws. Eh, eh, that eh. is so bad. Eh. So we've got Web Weavers coming in three lanes. This is going to be for sure another keep. Just depends what lane they're going to do, which they I might mean, even get both. I mean, it's. Yeah. I mean, and Web Weavers pushing in top, uncontest, uncontested, uncontested, uncontested. In Uncontested. We'll definitely get this one. We have Sonya slowly walking in with the. But even uh, if they back out now and rotate bottom, they still got two web weavers top and mid that need to be dealt with. Mm. Oh, oh, Diablo! Hmm. So dead. Bright it's going to hell. Gone. Bright links down. I mean, this is where the name comes in, I think. Uh, but again, nothing I've seen I mean, is a throw. They're not throwing, I know. No. It's just. I love that leap there to stop the disintegrate from Lee Ming. Great so job on the Sonya. Good. I mean, if this isn't the end, I don't know what is. Oh, it's got to be the end. Zagara is the only one up. Kerrigan's going to try to delay her. Oh! Oh, that sucks. But... Ooh, nice ancestral. Even though and a sanctification, water. and that is over. GG, everybody. GG, about ultimate this. breadsticks wins. Ah. Very yeah, nice. I I called that from the beginning, bitches. What do you, mean you called that from the beginning. You were on Diablo, Johanna. You son of a bitch. Whatever. Fuck you. Yeah. No, I. Hey, game time was zero minutes. Oh boy. No, fourteen um, forty-three. So not right? a bad length match. But it says zero minutes for me, but um. Look at the kills and deaths. Like that just explains the games. Two to twenty-two. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Um, personally, I would say our MVP for this game is Kerrigan. She just had her combos on point on this, got those stuns on those low characters, the Lee Ming, the Brightwing, the Diablo, so that the rest of the team was able to follow up and just destroy him. Anybody who went against Kerrigan was Kerrigan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Super Jova, it was the oh. unlimited breadsticks. Come on down to Eastside Mario's and we will load you up. <laughs> um, uh, no, yeah, that was it great. Was, uh, you know, Game of Thrones, it was definitely an uphill battle for you. Uh, your bright wing had your most kills. Uh, enough said there. <laughs> um, but it was a good game. It's uh, That's Div 2 for you, folks. Yeah, and like like Apple Eater said at the end of it, it was, I think they just got outdrafted. The Unlimited Breadsticks just has so much more bruiser capability with the Kerrigan, the Sonya, the Tyrael. They can dive those targets like Brightwing and Lee Ming and just shut them down. Whereas the um, Game of Thrones was a little bit more passive with the Johanna. It was more about delaying and allowing their backlines to do damage. And as soon as your backline gets jumped, you're a little screwed. So. Ben's being very proper as Super Jova's watching him. Oh, not at all. Judging him. Not at all. Um, MVP Kerrigan. I mean, I'm going to say Falstead just to be different. He had some really cool dives in there with the 
the gusts and the winds and the blows and the stuff like that. It was pretty dope. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But if you like that cast, be sure to check us out on YouTube. We'll be posting this there so you can watch it over and over and over in all the ultimate breadstick awesomeness. Yeah. And uh, check us out on our social medias, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, uh, your mom, Reddit, vote, uh, Patreon, everything. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. And uh, Keith it. and Philip Jet, thank you for the follows, guys. Much appreciated. We will be casting the entire season, so we hope to hit, catch some other games of yours as time goes along. Unless we don't get any games. <laughs> so yeah, if you want us to cast it, uh, you can always send it up something our way, and we would be happy to. Yeah, yeah. Hook us up, bros. Yeah, and same with you, Kid Ezone. Thanks for the follow, man. God, I'm butchering names tonight. Kid so- Ezano. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, we're going to stream some more, I think. Might as well. We're, we're on here. I think uh, Gerudo and Odin want to get the game on. So, 